great show lined up for you today. Roger will be out in the fields investigating organic honey. And we've got the lovely Barbie in the studio. Delighted to be here, Sam. I can't wait to tell you my story. Awesome! We'll be chatting about life as a style icon, dating Ken, and all things pink. But first, it's time to cook up a storm. I'm going to make a delicious cake that will blow your mind. Wow! Remember, all the recipes are available in my debut cookbook, Cooking with Sam. Available from all good retailers now. Susan, it's time to start cooking. Mm, where is she? Cut to an ad break. Sam, what's going on? I was in the bath. Sue, we're live on air. Try and be professional. We oui, chef. No, I went to the toilet before the show started. It means yes in French, Sammy. I knew that. Honest. Now let's get cracking, huh? Oopsie, something went wrong. Sam, did you prank me or something? I sure did. <laughs> well, I need a real egg now. Here you go, Sue. It's the best of the best. That's how you do it. Hiya! Now we need to whisk it all up. Whoa! All done. Don't thank me. Excellent work, Sam. Now we'll add cream of tartar. It will help the egg stiffen up. Sam, thanks. And we'll add some sugar and whisk it all up again. Don't forget the salt, Susan! These eggs will need more ingredients. I'll add a little bit of water. There we go. My favorite ingredient, vanilla extract. Ouch! Here's your honey. Next time, buy it from the store. Thanks, Raj. I really appreciate your effort. Okay, this should be enough. Here I come with the mixer. <laughs> we need this to be light and fluffy. That's enough, Sammy. Stop. Oh. Let me use the spatula to finalize everything. Go on. I will bring the rest of the ingredients. I'm totally ready for the flour. Ha ha. I've got it right here. <laughs> Sam, you have to be careful with the ingredients. Uh... I'm so sorry, Sue. I guess you better do it yourself from now on. All done! Now, I'll add a bit of baking powder. This amount should do the trick. Ugh! I know, we're mixing a lot today. <laughs> Sue, I need a break. Pour me some tea, please! There's no tea here, just the vegetable oil. Yuck, what a misfortune. Chef, the cake mix is almost ready. Come check it out. Wow, it looks great, Sue. But how does it taste? Yay! Sammy, you can't eat the raw cake batter. Technically, I just did. Well, don't do that again. We need to put it into cake tin. Very well. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. And it won't take long. That's the beauty of television. While the cake is cooking, we can get on with our yummy filling. And we will make something special. Great idea, Sammy. I've prepared the mixer. Let's use this whipping cream then. Mmm, this will taste so good. The mixer will do all the hard work. This is easy. Around and around it goes. It's so hypnotic. Excuse me.
excuse me. I shouldn't have been that close to that. Sammy, are you okay? Am I okay? You tell me. Snap, out of it. Huh? Where am I? What happened? Um... No, no, Sammy, not again. It looks good. And it tastes good, too. But let's add some sugar. Wow, what a great magic trick! You're welcome, Sue. That's more like it. Just don't tell my dentist about this, friends. That reminds me. Sammy, did you brush your teeth today? Of course I did. Why would you even ask that? I'm insulted. Sammy, you know what to do. This never happens to other celebrity chefs. It's so embarrassing. Make sure you give them a good scrub. And I need to put our cream into a piping bag. Here we go. Talk about a Hollywood smile, huh? Wait, something smells good. It's the cake. Careful, I will get it. Friends, welcome back to the Cooking with Sam show. Oh, please. Maybe we'd better call it Cooking with Sue. No way. You're my assistant. And I have some work for you. Watch and learn, Sammy. Watch and learn. There's something relaxing about this. There sure is, Sue. I could get used to this. Here comes the chocolate fondant. Carefully. Like this. Wait, Sue. You'll need this thing to even out the fondant. Good thinking. Thank you, Chef Samuel. I have an idea. <laughs> get ready for the good old prank. Huh. I knew it. And not surprised at all, Sammy. So now, I better get rid of the extra fondant. The next step is to give it the right shape. Uh-huh. This way. It already looks good, but there's still much to do. We also need to add several top layers. I'm going to put this on Roger's chair. Surprise, surprise. And I will add some color to our cake. Listen to me carefully. If Roger asks, I was always here. Got it? You can count on me. My lips are sealed. Ooh, this is pretty. This cake is going to be legendary. Well done, assistant. Finally, here comes the upper part. Great. We'll make it look just like a cookie. <laughs> Time to make pizza. Oh, I thought you were making a clock. No, we are. It's the fingertips pizza clock. Now, the really good thing about the fingertips pizza clock is that you make it yourself, it's really easy, and it lasts forever. Now, let's start with the dough. Uh, what? You've gone back to cooking again. No, no, no. Not dough dough. This is salt dough. Ah. Now, it tastes disgusting, but it's great for mates because, look, it's just like modelling clay. Now, the difference is when you bake this, it lasts for ages and I'm going to show you how to make it. What you need to get is 200 grams of salt. We pour that in. You need 200 grams of plain flour. We pour that in as well. And the fingertips top ingredient, 100 grams of corn flour. And that goes inside too. Finally, mix in 250 milliliters of water like this. And here's the best part. Roll up your sleeves and get your fingertips dirty. Look, we start mixing it in. And what you need to do is knead the dough so it's really, really smooth. Now, once you've made your dough, you need to roll it out to about half a centimetre thick. And then to make it a nice pizza base shape, get a plate and put it on top of your dough. And then just use a knife to cut around here. 
right way around your plate and then you can get rid of all the excess and then put your nice round shape onto a baking tray which is covered in tin foil and now you're ready to add your toppings. Now I'm going to start with cheese because I love cheese and what you want to do is make loads of wiggly worms like this. The wigglier the better and then you lay them onto your pizza and here's a nice little fingertip tip to make the cheese look as though it's melted just squash all of the wiggly worms down like that. Now for onions, all you need to do is make some more wriggly worms, but this time, just join it together in a loop and give it a good squeeze like that, and then flatten it all down so it looks really realistic. And now you need to make a few squares from the dough that'll be the ham, and trust me, when you paint these, they'll look just like the real thing. And what about olives? They're really easy to make. Just get a little bit of dough and roll it into a ball, give it a squish, and there you go. You now need to find the centre of your dough and make a hole in the middle, just about there, like that. Now you put your pizza together, a bit of ham. <gasps> put me onions on as well, they look lovely. Very mm, nice. Yummy. And a quick fingertip tip, it's well worth putting a dab of water on the back of the bit to make sure they stick onto your pizza like that. What about the olives too, you've got to put them on. Very important, the olives, because these are going to be your hours, all right? So you need to position them very, very carefully. Um, you need to put one at 12 o'clock, one at six, and then carry on all the way round. And now you're ready to cook your pizza base. Now, salt dough needs to be cooked very slowly on a very low heat, and it's going to take about two to three hours to cook, but be careful not to burn it. Now, once it's cooked and cooled off, it's time to paint it. And trust me, you're going to be amazed how real your pizza will look. Let's get painting. First, a blob of red for the tomato. Now when the tomato's all on, carefully paint some of the wiggly bits in yellow and this will be the cheese. Now some white for the onion rings. And some pink for the ham. And finally some black for the olives. And now a coat of varnish to give it a shiny, professional finish. And that looks good enough to eat. Oh, it looks delicious. Now these clock fittings can be bought from most craft shops and they're really easy to fit together. It means you can have your own fully working individual clock, which is much cheaper than in the shops. It's true, and as you've made your own clock, you may as well make your own clock hands. We've gone for a knife and fork. And uh, then all you do is connect it to the clock, like this, and then hang it up on the wall. Or better still, put some magnets on the back and stick it to your fridge. So there you have it, your very own fingertips pizza clock. Pizza delivery that's always on time. <laughs> behind the triangles. Can you guess? That's right, it's a cake. That was fantastic, Triangle. It's time to get back on the shelf. Surprise party 
Popper. What a tasty looking torn paper strawberry. Today, Scraps is getting some help from one of the mini makers. Hi, I'm Taya, and today we're going to make a torn paper strawberry. Here's how you do it. Get a piece of lilac card and lay it down on your work desk. After that, you get your red piece of card and slowly tear it into a strawberry shape. Gently tear around until you've got your shape. Lots of little tears. And when you've done that, glue it down onto your piece of purple card. And after you've done that, get your green card and gently tear some green leaves to fit onto your strawberry. And finally, get your luminous yellow stickers and stick them all over your strawberry. And there you have it. It looks really yummy, doesn't it? What a scrumptious strawberry. Thanks, Taya. And you can make any type of torn paper fruit you like. Amy, that looks amazing. What have you made? I made a tomato. Oh, well, it's very nice indeed. And how did you make all the seeds? I used little yellow stickers. Well, they look brilliant. What a great tomato. Fletcher, this is very interesting. You've made some corn. Now, you've used different types of paper. What have you used? I've used brown paper, a light yellow paper and a darker yellow paper so it gets the effect of the corn. It looks really good. This looks like a very healthy picture. Jessica has made some cherries. And what finishing touches have you added? I've added two stickers for light reflection, um, a stalk and a leaf. Wow, it looks brilliant. Just like the real thing. Well done, Jessica, and well done, Mini Makers. But right now, follow me. Follow me this way, Mini Makers. That's it, my friends. That's it, over you come. Now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? Any ideas? What do you think it could be? A bowl of ice cream! It was a bowl of ice cream. It was a brilliant picture. And that is a brilliant sound because it means it's time for... Another party game! Yay! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which mini makers are playing today. Off you go. <laughs> it's Leona! Yay! Who's next? Let's find out. But not least, who is it? It's Brandon! Yay! <laughs> well done, my friends. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! It's nearly dinner time. And mini makers today, you're going to be mini chefs. You're going to serve up a rather delicious looking spaghetti bolognese. But today, I'm feeling quite hungry, so I'd like a giant portion of my giant plate. Look at that! It's massive! And you're going to use all these wonderful ingredients. We've got spaghetti, we've got mince, tomatoes, and some tasty-looking toppings. So, Ewan, Leona and Brandon, do you think you can do it? Yes! I think so too, my friends, but you've got to serve up that spaghetti before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready! Get steady! Mini chefs! <laughs> go! <laughs> Off you go, my friends. 
That's it, spread it out. That's it, you've got it. Well done, it's looking really nice already. What do you think we should do next, Leona? Add some mint. OK, right, off you go. A bit closer, maybe, Brandon. That's it. We better hurry up, Mini Makers. That's it, get that sauce on there. Right, let's find some toppings. Get it on, my friend. Put loads on, put loads on. Get the knife and the fork. OK, brilliant, that's great. <laughs> Mamma mia! Oh, Scrub says time up. Back over here, Mini Makers. Yay! Well done, Mini Makers. Look at that super spaghetti bolognese. It's almost good enough to eat. <laughs> Makers, do you like this very tall triangle? Yeah! It's great, isn't it? And you've got three of these triangles to make these tasty looking ice creams. They look great, look at them. You're gonna make them, but of course the difference is you're going to make really big ice creams! You're gonna make them on this big piece of paper using all of these coloured shapes, some fun foam and some paint. Now, this could get a little bit messy and that's why our mini makers are wearing their arty party suits. So, Sam, Kimberly and Charles, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so too, but you've got to be really quick. You've got to finish your ice creams before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Off you go, Mini Makers. Let's make some ice creams. <laughs> That's it, the cones are down. Ah, well done, Kimberly. looking really good. Where are you going to put that one? Ah, some mint ice cream, lovely. Oh, Kimberly's finished her ice cream already. <laughs> Lovely. And now Kimberly, it looks like she's going for the paint. Right, on it goes. Sprinkle it all around in nice long lines. Oh, yes. Nice strawberry sauce and chocolate sauce for Charles. And what are you going to put on now? Sprinkles. The sprinkles and share them out. I think they're going to do it, Scraps. <laughs> <laughs> and that's time up, Mini Makers. Yeah! Makers. Look, three amazing ice creams. They look good enough to eat. Mini Makers, that was brilliant, but now it's time to tidy up. So let's get started. We've had a brilliant arty party today. We've had terrific fun with triangles, making pictures using triangles and making triangle creatures. We found out how hidden triangles make pictures look more realistic. And we use triangles to make giant ice creams in our arty party game. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your fun just began! <laughs> yes, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Bye!